Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Stahl of Total Dungeon King and welcome back to KSP Career Mode. Uh, this is episode 3 now and it is time to build a moon rocket that will land on the moon. But first, let's have a look at what we can buy with our brand new found science. Uh, let's hope rocket science doesn't get mad and uh, kill our window again, that would be most unfortunate. Um, so there's, we are going to ask all the big quests of the universe eventually. For now, we're starting with these. Uh, that might be useful. Um, we just got a battery, a science junior, uh, that will be very good to take to the moon. A comms dish, it's 45, so we'll seriously thinking about that. This, um, hmm, struts, very useful. Uh, launch stability enhancer, not that useful. And a stack tri coupler. I'm not sure about that one yet. I do. I would very much like to get some struts, but I'm not sure yet. This is useful because you can save money on this. How much does this normally cost? Oh, it won't tell us. Great. Um, normally, I'm pretty sure that this costs um, slightly less than two of its half tanks. So we're gonna have to seriously consider buying one of them. We've got air aerodynamics, uh, useful in the future, but for now we'll leave that alone. We've got this guy, not yet, and that, oh that's what we do want. We want some solar panels, so we're going to research that, and that. Okay, down to 23 science. Right, so it's time to make some of those vital adjustments to our moon rocket, uh, Luna 1, and we'll rename this one. Luna 2. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, come on. Luna 2. Now, I know what went wrong in the beginning of our decoupling, and right now I'm going to take those off. Those were more than, less than useless, uh, if that's possible. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is inst install three of these guys and actually angle them downwards like that and we'll do the same for this guy like so, so those three launch and then that and then that and then that and then good good so we have two goo canisters one s exposure bay we do not need two antennae, so I'll put one on there, no, I'll put one on there, thank you, doesn't really matter where, so shall I put it there, so it's not being blocked by anything, because it does actually kind of, <laughs> aesthetics, yay, okay, uh, it looks pretty good, so, I'll just try this thing, let's also see if our phase angle is correct, No, no, which is very much not correct. We do also kind of want to think about rescuing that guy. Where's the moon? Oh, there it is. Is that good? Yeah, that's... F oh, yeah, I just saw it. Okay, so... Oh, crap, I'll move that there. Okay, in three, two, one... Lift off with the bendiest, floppiest rocket you've ever seen. Um, let's hope the staging cor is correct. Uh, well, let's hope, I mean, the uh, process that we're going to use works. Otherwise, we're going to have to do a quick, a quick um, bit of a makeshift <laughs> orbit again. At least the fail-safes have worked last time. I call them fail-safes. At least we got lucky last time. It's very uh, helpful. Right. So, hopefully these solid rocket boosters will run out before we have to do our gravity turn. That would be best, because I don't want to be trying to turn this big floppy monster of death. So... Oh, come on! Yes! That's what we want to see. All four rockets are going, and we are beginning our gravity turn now with the slowest turning rocket, and it's not easy to turn this thing while it's spinning. 
that also gives me an idea. I think that I'm going to set this thing rolling really quickly while I eject these guys so that they do, in fact, go flying outwards thanks to centrifugal force. Come on. Good, then we also want to check our apple apps here. 48, 49. Now we are going to do the same thing as last time in that we are going to... I'm just going to throttle back a little bit here. That we are going to do a completely just solid burn to the moon. And, good, we the furthest we've made it with the whole launcher. Which is very good. So. Burning, burning, burning. Setting up a node here. We do not want a free return this time, because we do not need one. So we are just going to go for a simple, uh, just get a low periaps. Uh, that should be fine. We'll figure it out from there. Okay. So, uh, actually, we can't be that crap, can we? Two hundred fifty-seven thousand ninety-three. Yeah, we can adjust it from there. That's fine. Cool. Fifty-eight second burn still. So okay. So we want to be. Oh right, we're still in the atmosphere. Uh, so we want to be going at twenty-nine seconds away. Almost making it. Oh, we are in space. It has been confirmed by the boffins at home. We are in space. Good. Now, there are a couple of things we can do on this mission. Uh, we need to plant a flag on the moon, transmit and recover data from space from the moon. We have achieved that one. We have to land on the moon and recover scientific data from the surface of the moon. Right. Oh, crap. We really left that late. Um, however, let's test out my idea. If we set this guy spinning and then eject. Yes! There we go. Wow, those guys are going. Those guys are crazy. So, let's hope we don't fall into the atmosphere here, because I've really misjudged this. So, with the help of time acceleration, I'm going to get this burn done. Whoa, nearly. Really wanting to veer to one side. I'm not sure what that is. Um... Major lag spike. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure what just happened. Right, so we're not actually generating fuel there. That is good. Just want to check. Great. Everything is going smoothish, except the fact that we are in the atmosphere now and plummeting to our deaths. Um, other than that, everything's fine. Yeah. So, eject that stage as quickly as possible. And let's actually burn upwards. Oh, uh, crap. I really should have paid a bit more attention. <laughs> Let's do a crew report while we're up here. Let's transmit that. Great. Uh, I'm quite glad we actually added that now. Good. Good, good, good. We are going up again. That is most preferable. And once again, let's go on time warp. Let's put fine controls on. Because I really don't think anyone wants to see a real-time burn to the moon. Okay, so going up now. Fourth ever flight. Uh, this is quite ambitious, and if it works, then whoop de doo I'm actually going to go manually now. Right. Any time now, we will get a... There we go. 400, 300, 200, 100... Eight kilometers. Great. Good. Very good. Right. So, we're going to time up up here. And we're going to take some more scientific readings as we get higher up. Um, just because that would be useful. Uh, let's actually point the right direction so our solar panels are getting some power. And we are getting some power. Now, I'm not going to use any of these big equipment, any of this big equipment, um, because... Uh, we do not want to be wasting them. They are one time only if we transmit them. 
and so I really want to get some good data from the moon. That's pretty good. Let's get him out here. Uh, let's give an EBA report. Eight science. Wow. So good. Review stored data. <laughs> We're just gonna glean as much science as we can on this mission so that we can hopefully unlock some good parts and go further and faster than we've ever gone before. Okay, so we're back and we are going for the lunar insertion burn, or should I say lunar insertion burn. Okay, there we go. That's about 21 seconds away. This should not be that long to get into orbit. However, let's go good, 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 good. Uh, I'm actually hoping that we can land in that crater there, because that looks like we're going to get some interesting science from that. So we'll have a look. Now we also want to watch these tanks. Or this tank, in fact. Okay. And now we want to get this fairly circular, just so, you know, well, it'll make landing a lot easier, anyway. So coming down, that'll be down there. Now this is the advantage of burning on your periaps is that it won't really, you can really circularize an orbit. 14 by 14, great, that is, okay, yeah, happy with that. Now we want to ideally burn and land near that crater, I think would be cool. Uh, it is quite mountainous there though, so maybe on this nice flat edge, Somewhere like that, maybe? Or even, actually, I have it. We're just going to land anywhere in that crater. And we can even, we can do a jet back over. So, beginning the landing, or the deorbit burn, should I say. And, holy crap, let's do a crew report. Wow, that is quite a bit. Let's, in fact, get him out of here. And we'll do an EVA report. 24 science. OMG. Let's review our stored data. And let's in fact transmit it. Because why not? Right. So while we actually are going to burn the rest of this fuel here. And use this as a chance to take our fuel and put it all in here in the small amount of time that we have. Oh crap. Um, in retrospect we probably should got uh, should have gotten some fuel lines um, but A, who cares? Probably Jebediah but... Oh, Jebediah. Um, as amazing as this is that you're in here, uh, if you die we are screwed because you will die forever. <laughs> oh god. So, there. Now we're going to eject them. Cool, that was strange. And we're going to continue our deorbit burn. We're also going to test out our landing gear. Great, those work fine. And... I'm going to try this new method of landing, which is more efficient. It's to become, it's going to be as lateral as possible until the very last second. Uh, so hopefully that will help us with our fuel usage. Also got to be careful about this um, whole velocity here. So I'm going to, a small break to about 300. There we go. And I'm actually really going to begin burning the crap out of this rocket. Because we're getting quite low now. 26, 25, 24, 23, 200 meters per second, 190, 180, 170. It's going to be close, guys. This is what we call a suicide burn. And that it's the last second. It's the most efficient kind of burn you can possibly do. However, it is the most dangerous kind of burn you can possibly do. Uh, but I think we're going to make it out of this one alive. Which is preferable. Okay, coming down on the moon here. Woo, coming in kind of fast down onto the moon here. And a bit of a controlled descent. Let's let this guy be seen. Okay, 
So, once again, controlling our rate. We want to be lying at about 1, just because I'm picky. Okay, it's looking good. Good, good, good. Especially when you're on a slope, we do not... Yay, and we're down! The first manned landing on the moon. And let's get our guy a crew report here. 20 science, let's transmit that bad boy. And let's observe this mystery goo. Woohoo! Goo seems to be less dense here. We'll keep that, 40 whole science. And let's get this, keep that. And we'll open this. Come on. You leave the sample bay doors open on the moon and go do something else for a while. 100 science. What a whopper that is. We've got explore the moon, which means we've just earned 105 grand. What a success. Let's get this guy out here. And uh, then we're going to have to call the episode here. Um, we'll do the return off I'll do the return uh, next time, uh, but for now, we'll plant a flag. Hmm. Site name. Land. We're not dead. The first successful moon landing was performed by none other than Jebediah Kerman himself. Great. We'll take a surface sample. 120, holy crap. And an EVA report. 32, once again, holy crap. Um, Let's get a bit of a time acceleration here, just so that we can go to morning. Um, well, success if I do say so myself, which I am. Screenshot for the history books. And I've been Michael Stahl, or Turtle Lending King. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of KSP Career Mode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.